third of the way in on that side, a third of the way in on this side, and we're going to use that to this part to wrap around the big toe. And then I'm going to cut back, and you know I never pass that part of kindergarten, you know those cutting skills, I never <laughs> pass that. So don't laugh at my cutting. So you're going to come back and cut the mole skin so it looks something like that. And come back over here and make it look something like that. Right. So you want to cut it and make it look like this. Okay. Now again, this is not a great cutting technique. They make this pre-cut. If you call Jeff Nelson at Alert Services, he'll um, can sell you the best stuff. So sit here for me. Why not? So frequently, we have hyperextension sprains of the great toe. It could be at the interphalangeal joint. Could somebody get my foot off the table, please? It could be at the interphalangeal joint, and you could hyperextend this joint, and you'd stretch the support structure all through the bottom of the toe. Or frequently, it's at the metatarsal phalangeal joint. You get out to here, and they sprain this joint. So here's a right foot. Here's the interphalangeal joint. And here's the metatarsal phalangeal joint. So most frequently, the tissue on the bottom here is stretched. You have a joint capsule, a joint tissue limiting that. You also have a flexor tendon. Anybody remember what that tendon is called? Flexor hallucis longus, right through here. It's contractile tissue. So when we're here, we've stretched the ligament to support. We could also overstretch the contractile tissue, the muscle tendon unit. So we're going to come here, relax your foot. Relax, just let me move it. And I start to feel the resistance of the tissue. That's where I want to hold her foot and ankle, right there. You got that one for me? You hold it for me. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take, and she says, ouch. That's my ouch point. Okay, hold it there for me. And I'm going to cheat back past the ouch point and hold it right here. You got that? All right, so now that's the position she's got to hold her foot. We'd spray her foot to make it nice and tacky. And we can take our piece of mole skin that you got from Jeff Nelson from Alert Services. What is that? Alertservices.com, something like that. And we're going to come out past the interphalangeal joint because if I attach the tape here, more proximal, I have less control. But if I come out past the interphalangeal joint, I'll have better control. So we got our ouch point. Ouch. Very good. <laughs> and so we come back, we cheat past that. And we come back, and the pre-cut ones wrap nicely all the way around. And you can see how this one doesn't quite go all the way around. We position it. like so and come all the way back now for the big heavy linemen I'm going to need to come up behind the heel because this will pull out for people that aren't as heavy you might not need to go all the way behind the heel but we'll say you're a real big muscular boxer for example and you're you know you're weighing uh, 200 pounds or something, right? So you, we want extra support for you. So hold it here for me. We got our ouch point. We'll come up behind, right? Just like so. All right. I'm going to trim the tape all the way around. 
Try not to draw any blood. I'm going to make this conform to her foot just like so. And then I'm going to trim these pieces and tr again, try not to draw any blood. And make this smooth. As smooth as I can get it. Then I'm going to take some one inch elasticon. Hold for me right here. Right there, you got it? Yeah. All right. And instead of with the hyperflexion sprain, when I X'd on top, I'm going to X on the bottom. So I want to come like so, and here's my X. So I can see my angle, I can adjust, so I can bring my X out to the right spot. I can come right over the foot. I can come right around, come around the toe. Now I'm covering my tape ends with the moleskin. And come up and around. So I could do two of these or one looking at the size of the person. We thought she was a, a big heavy boxer, so we're going to keep her here. Got that position for us. So we'll do another one, and we'll overlap these a little bit so we come at a little bit different angle with our X. I let go of the tape here, and I pin it to make sure it stays there. I don't want to pull tightly around the great toe where it's going to get constricted and change blood flow to the end of the great toe. Then I'll pin it again to take the stretch out from here to here. I want to overlap. And then I can take a very thin, light cover Cover my tape ends. Hold it right there for me. There you go. Very thin, light tape. I want to stay off the toes. And I can come right back here, cover my tape in and back. I'd like to prevent my wrinkles. And that's how it should be done. And you can feel how, walk around and compare the right, well you gotta take, take the other tape off the other foot. Just can walk around and compare what it feels like to walk. Well, you'll feel it give to a point, and then it gets stuck. It prevents it. And that's the whole idea is to prevent hyperextension, to prevent the pain. And because you got to push off with all of your body weight, it'll force the great toe up into extension. With somebody lighter, I wouldn't need to come all the way back behind the heel. I could probably stop it in front of the calcaneus. Yeah, just walk around the room. And you can... You definitely feel how it stops your toe. Yeah. So this doesn't heal anything. This just limits excessive range of motion. And that's what we do with tape, is to limit excessive range of motion that's causing pain, causing more inflammatory effects on the great toe.